Well, dozens were gathering here in Peekskill in hopes of a local war hero will get the recognition they say he deserves. Yeah, Ty Milburn's got more on the life of Dory Miller and how his heroic action during Pearl Harbor is finally getting its due. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. A small coalition made up of students, community leaders, and a feisty former congressman joining forces on Thursday to demand that justice be served for a former World War II hero whom they feel never got his just due. Dory Miller is just one of hundreds of thousands of soldiers that gave their life so that we can have the freedoms that we have. I want this to really mean something to you right? because trying to get Dory Miller the Medal of Honor that he was denied through racism and all those other kind of things, that's important. The mayor is here. Joe DiGuardi has been working on this for 30 years plus. we got a county legislator here, but we need to be creating some kind of an energy. Can we do that, guys? Yes, sir. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. All right. What do we want? Justice. And when do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. And when do we want it? Now. Okay, I feel much better. We're all here for a great cause. I want to say thank you, everybody, on behalf of the city of Peace Care for joining us this afternoon. I want to say thank you to the Black Diamonds and my brothers, Keeper of Young Men, for doing what they're doing to bring acknowledgement to this situation. As many of you know, this has been going on for over 30 years by Mr. Joe DiGuardi, so we thank you for your hard work and effort. And if you, if you can't understand what we're here for today, I want you to think of it like this. Think of something that you've done for somebody else but didn't get acknowledged for. Can you think of anything that you've done for somebody else but didn't get acknowledged for? How did you feel? Not good. Not good. Imagine not being acknowledged for saving people's lives because you were born with a dark shade of skin. Saving people's lives, but you don't get acknowledged for it because you were born with a darker shade of skin. We are not here to divide. We are not here to remind people of any type of hate. We are here to show that unity is the only way that we can accomplish anything. And if we can come together, if we can come together to fight for justice, all shades, all backgrounds, all, whites of, all walks of life, we can get it. And today, we are fighting for Dory Miller because in 20 years from now, we don't want your children to have to be out here doing the same thing we're doing for your parents. So thank you all for being here this afternoon. God bless you all. And God bless one of the greatest cities on earth. And let's get this medal for Dory Miller, ladies and gentlemen. The man Peekskill Mayor Andre Rainey is speaking of is Dory Miller. He was a cook on a naval ship attacked in Pearl Harbor during World War II. Miller is credited with not only saving fellow sailors' lives when the Japanese attacked their ship, but also manning a machine gun to take the fight to the attacking planes. His supporters are demanding he receive the Medal of Honor for his heroism and finally get the credit he deserves. No one else is going to tell our story but us. No one else is going to tell our story correctly but us. And history has shown when our stories are told, the narrative has changed. This gentleman who we're here today, when you look at his story, he was thought less of a man. His only, for what, for, for, for what he has done, saved the lives of many. His only reward was to be promoted to a higher cook. There is no way you can see justice in that. And they also rewarded him by transferring him to another ship, which was sunk by a Japanese submarine. The whole crew died. And as you said, as you said, he only received, because of his color, not the, not the Medal of Honor, but the one below it. The military refused to recognize his heroics and reward him properly. This is why we are counting on you to continue to fight so he can be rewarded properly. His story can be, his story is our legacy. You have to realize that. And we're gonna continue it on. So I encourage you, first of all, again, as I said it before, thank you for keeping up this fight. Thank you for keeping up this fight. Thank you for this fight. Thank you for this fight. The brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha, the Westchester chapter, will support you the best we can.
Speeches are great, but we need actions too. So again, with what my president said, host it, blast it, make sure that everybody knows. Hey, do you know who Dory Miller is? No, I will inform you. Hey, here we go. So what do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Thank you so much, that's Thank all. You. The fight for Dory Miller's recognition started more than three decades ago by former Westchester Congressman Joe Diaguardi because he felt too many heroic black World War II vets were being overlooked. And all these years later, he is still advocating on Miller's behalf. Hey, thank you all for being here. This is really inspirational. People say, Joe, you come and you inspire us. I'm inspired to see you here and asking out loud for justice. That's what we need in America, people to ask for what is right and for what they want. And that's how you get things. Now, you know, I met Martin at the 7-Eleven store in Ossining. He didn't know me, I didn't know him. He didn't know I was a congressman. So I started telling him about what I've been doing for African-American war heroes. And would you believe in 1986, a black American historian came from the city of Mount Vernon, my district. So he came to my office, Dr. Ramsey, and he says, Joe, you were the only one out of 34 congressmen that I wrote to, in fact, I let Cuomo, Governor Mario Cuomo, sign a letter. You're the only one that responded to it. Not one got our nation's highest award called the Medal of Honor. It's not the Congressional Medal of Honor, it's the Medal of Honor. It's better than any high medal from the Navy, the Army, or the Air Force. It transcends them all. And I said to Dr. Ramsey, I says, Dr. Ramsey, those numbers don't make sense. He says, well, did you know there was segregation in World War I and World War II? because of President Woodrow Wilson. I said, no, I'm a poor kid from the Bronx. I got a good education. No one ever told me that. So what do you want to do? You, we need to work together and get things done. I'm so happy that uh, we got the news to come and it's important to spread the word. I put together this booklet just a few days ago because I was doing some research last week and I came across five articles that were written on World War II magazine, and they were all kind of touching spots for Dory Miller. And I said, you know, I'm gonna take the time, and I spent about three hours to put these 16 pages together, and I boiled it down to five pages. That's what you'll see in this book. Read those five pages, and you'll see the essence of who Dory Miller is. And I put one page for another guy that can't be forgotten, my old friend, Mickey Leland, who died delivering food to the poorest of the poor in Ethiopia. He died at 44 in 1989. He was the chairman of the Black Congressional Caucus. He founded the first hunger committee in Congress, and he sacrificed his life by going back and forth to Ethiopia, which was a dangerous country at that time. He wasn't doing it politically. He was doing it for the people. There was a drought. They were starving. They needed medicine. He filled the plane up with it, and the last plane he took, he went down with 17 others. Some Ethiopians who came to Washington came back with him, and a group of people from Washington that were American did. So people do give up their lives for good things. This is what has to inspire us. This is being a good citizen. This is being finding something you could feel enthused about to put your name on it, like that petition right now. And where is this going to lead? In my mind, I've done this now 33 years. I'm responsible directly and indirectly for nine medals. No one of those nine would have gotten one. Now, why am I telling you that? Everybody told you, Joe, you're not going to do it. You're crazy. You know, why are you doing this? I said, because I believe it's right to do. Why do we need to do this for Dory Miller? Because it's the right thing to do. And we gotta inspire others by doing right things. This has got to be an example for every community in this state. And then we gotta take it, and believe me, there are other states that are doing this as well. I know I've inspired people in Texas. We had it in San Diego, because that's a big naval base. Uh, four years ago, we had Dory Miller Day. So I try my best. I'm a citizen, like you are, but someone's got to be the spark plug. A car does not start unless you have a starter and a spark plug. But once it gets going, it's hard to stop. And that's what we got to understand. Thank you again. Thank you all for coming. God bless you.